even though they have the same name, present continuous is actually the what you could call real present now. Whatever is happening right now or temporary situation such as this week, these days, these past three months even, it's temporary, okay? That means it's gonna change back to normal as soon as possible. We use present continuous. Uh, present continuous consists obviously of subject always, verb be in present and verb ending in ing. This is where we use ing. But for, in order for it to be continuous, it has to have both be oh, and this ing ending. Okay, so please write it. If you're writing down, write this down. It has two verbs. One is verb to be, one is verb ending in ing, which means I am talking right now. Obviously, this is the real present. Or a temporary situation, my friend is working from home during Corona. I cannot say about myself, I always work from home in this job, but uh, my friend is temporarily, only until Corona passes, working from home. Okay, and as you can see, in both cases, we have verb to be and ending in ing. This is what I was talking when I was saying auxiliary verb. Here, because we have two verbs, verb be in present and verb ending in ing, we can switch subject and the verb to be to have a question. That means that, means that the question form, question is made by using verb be in the present, then subject, then verb ending in ing, okay? Whereas negative is just subject, verb be in present, not, and then verb ending in ing. Okay, that's the structure. We're gonna, I'm gonna make you examples maybe to better understand. Okay, maybe I should do it immediately before I ask my big question. That means that a sentence in present continuous would be. I am talking now. Am, am I talking now, right? Or I am not talking now, okay? Now, a million dollar question. I think we had it in the previous class, but I'm just gonna double check again. When I say verb be in present, what do I mean? How do you change verb be in present? Also, and where? Um, R is... Yes, that's much better. Yeah. M. For the bust was with. Exactly. M, R, is. and is. Exactly. Is for the present. Was, were, we use for past. Past. But we're not going to talk about it now. I want to focus on uh, present. So this is. How about, the, how about W question? It's, uh, I mean, it's the same. Just we will add the, w, the words. The exactly. Beginning. Exactly. So the question means you just, if you want, you just add WH question in front of any question form, but pay attention to follow the question form. A lot of students put WH form in front of the positive sentence. So, so they say, why I am talking now, which is incorrect. Okay. So WH doesn't go here. WH goes in front of the Question form. That's why question form is important to remember how it goes. Why am I? Am I? Exactly. Yeah, why am I? Don't put it in front of the regular sentence. Why am I? So it's the same question. You just put whatever WH word you want in front and that's it. The same for present simple. Let's go there. Where do you work? Not where you work. Okay. Where do you work? Why do you work? When do you work? What, I, what am I doing now? Exactly. What are you doing right now? Exactly. Okay. So this is the quick, quick <laughs> review of full present continuous. Uh, the reason why it's quick, because you are not beginners. 
Okay, so I just wanted to double check all the information. And before we continue to do a little bit of exercises before the end of the class, does anybody have questions regarding anything from this that you mentioned? You have a minute because I'm going to look for an exercise. So anything? The verb, the verbs of thinking and feeling, static verbs. Yes, we talked about it last time, haven't we? Uh, but yeah, maybe I should repeat it. You're correct. Um, mm -hmm. Yes, uh, not every verb can be an ing verb. It does. It cannot be in a continuous form. And uh, uh, Ariam just mentioned it. Emotional mm -hmm. verbs such as like, feel, uh, uh, no. hate, dislike, no, no uh, hear, smell, see, taste, uh, and abstract verbs such as be, uh, cost, they cannot be, they're called stative verbs and we're gonna, yeah, we, we might as well remind ourselves on, of them. They cannot be ing form, okay? Let me just, uh, I'm, I'm gonna, do it. I just want to see. I'm going to take a look at the. So this is literally the complete list. It's not that long. You can just take a look. Okay. Uh, some verbs are only or mostly used in simple tenses and are not used in continuous tenses. That means present continuous, past continuous, present perfect continuous, past perfect continuous. An example of a simple tense is the present simple or the past simple. State verb. Okay. So one of them would be agree, believe. That means you cannot put them in the ing form. Actually, to be honest, I'm just going to send this in the chat box and you can take a look at it. So literally those verbs can never be continuous. I mean, we can't take a look because for the exactly. time. Exactly. Uh, take a look. Uh, the most important ones are the emotional verbs, the senses, five senses, senses hearing, verbs. seeing. And, but there are some others that are called abstract verbs. But when, you, when I say abstract to you, I mean, it sounds like, okay, which are those? So appear, believe, belong, consist, love, like, no, yeah, the list is there and you have an explanation of all of them. So th just uh, take a look at them. Now, there are some verbs that can be both stative and dynamic. You will read about it. For example, B. B is very complicated in general, in all the forms. B is usually a stative verb, but when it is used in the continuous, it means behaving or acting. If you are stupid, it is part of your personality. You are being stupid only now, not usually. So you're being stupid, like you're behaving stupid in a stupid way, okay? Or you're being an idiot, okay? You're being an, I don't know, usually in an offensive way, like you are right now behaving like an idiot. Okay, here is have. Have that is a state of as to own, but have the dynamic part of an expression. I'm having a party, I'm having a picnic, I'm having a bath, I'm having a good time, I'm having a break. Okay, so you have it in the chat box, just open it, okay, and take a look at it. I would really like to try to do uh, this quick exercise just to see really quickly how you think. Okay, Basma, can you start with number one? Uh, is jumping into the water. Nice. Hajir? It's a week. I go. Exactly. Once a week, it's a repetitive action, a habit. Uh, Nakhla? Right now, the library. Exactly. Exactly. Very good. Ariam? It's snowing. It's snowing. Okay, you can read a sentence. It's snowing quite hard. Perhaps we shouldn't go out tonight. Exactly. Just don't forget it is snowing, not snowing. Basma. When man is rich, he drives a Mercedes. I'm believing. No, believe. I believe. Exactly. If you're yeah. not sure later on, you go check, but it's here. Believe. It's yeah. a static verb. Okay, good. Seven. This is another meaning of the present continuous that I didn't mention. It's actually, I'm going to Toronto because we use present continuous for scheduled events in the future. So next Thursday, it's scheduled. And we use present continuous. And in Nakhlaq, you can do number eight. I, I am, uh, B, you crazy? Yes, B. No? No. It's again, you got a static. Yeah, I think. think yes. It's okay. Now we can, uh, uh -huh. it's a static. So I think you're crazy. My opinion is that you're crazy. Okay. Okay. But I can say, what are you thinking right now? Okay. Mm. Uh, I'm, Ariam? I'm, I'm having. I'm having lunch in the cafeteria every day. No, every day. Uh, I have. I have lunch. Habit. So when I have to use, I'm having. 
right now only now and only temporary situation we talked about it so right now i'm talking look at the, okay i'm going to give you an example i can name you at least 10 things i'm doing right now different i'm blinking i'm talking i'm listening i am explaining i am uh, speaking i said i'm sitting on my chair i am uh, twirling in my chair i'm typing maybe i'm exercising so so many things i'm doing right now that's why I said something many students use the something happened. I mean, uh, I you mean something happened at that at that moment? At this moment only. Everything else <laughs> is yeah. That's why I said uh, I heard you use it. That's why I uh, reminded. Yeah, that's sorry. Don't say sorry. It's okay. You just don't think actively. That's why we refreshed our no, memory. No, no. This, uh, this is this is this is what really I need to correct me and. When that's I'm talking why to I'm here. That's why you I'm know, here. I have, yeah, yeah. And so after, I think with the with the, the next classes, I, I I can improve myself. Yes, you you can. That's why you're here, and that's why. Uh, okay, you can do number ten actually, and then I will tell you uh, just one more. Uh, Ariam, number ten. She hates it. She hates. She hates it. it. First of all, yeah. it's a fact. Second of all, it's a static mm -hmm. verb. So it's uh, yes, it's, be, uh, it's an emotional verb. Exactly. 